Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the guest editions for Ubuntu on VirtualBox. So let's get started. So we've already installed Ubuntu in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. And if you're looking to install that, you can look for the full video in the description below. But right now we're gonna continue after installing the operating system on VirtualBox. Now we're at the desktop here. And if you notice on each side, this is not taking up the full screen. It's just a square box in the center. So what we need to do in order to get this to full screen and use it as if you were using a, your desktop on your PC is install guest editions. And for us to install guest editions, there's a few commands that we want to run. And I'm going to walk you through those steps right now. To begin, we want to just go uh, into the menu and then look for terminal. And the easiest way to do that is in the search, just start typing in terminal and it'll pop up. And then in here, what we want to do is first run an update command. So we'll just type it in. So it's uh, sudo space app dash get and then update, hit enter. And it's going to ask for a password. This is going to be your password that you assigned during the installation. So you go ahead and type that in and hit enter. And it's going to quickly do an update. And once the update's done, we're going to run the upgrade command. And that's going to be very similar. It's going to be sudo space app dash get and then we're going to type in upgrade and then hit enter and say yes to the prompt and it'll begin to just run through a bunch of little updates on your system so running this command might actually take a few minutes what i'll do is as it's doing the upgrade i'll just skip to the end of it and this is the last command that we have to enter in what i'll be doing is all these commands will be put in the description below so you can just easily copy and paste it uh, say yes to the prompt and allow it to continue the operation. And then once it's complete, we can start running the guest edition CD image. So everything's done running here. So what we can do, we're back at the prompt and we can just close out of this window. And now we can go up to the devices menu up at the top and say insert guest edition CD image. Once we've selected this, we'll get prompted here to run it and we can just click on run. And then you're going to be prompted to type in your password. So we'll type in again the same password that we did when we created the operating system and then click on authenticate. So now it's going to install the guest edition modules onto the Ubuntu operating system and then we'll be prompted to restart the computer. So here we go. It says running kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted. So we have to press enter to close the window. And now we need to restart the system in order for the guest editions to be loaded. So we're going to go up to the menu and then click on power off. We're going to completely power off the virtual machine, let it shut down all the way. And then in the virtual box manager, we can select it and then start it right back up. So we're back at the login screen we can click on our user and then enter in our password and then hit enter. And this brings us back to their desktop. So you don't see any changes yet, but if you go into the right hand side and just resize the screen like this, let me do that here and then we'll resize it now. Uh, you can see that it now takes up most of the screen. And then if we just go up to the view menu and then select full screen, it's gonna take over the entire screen. So click on switch here and then there we go. So now we have full screen. And now we've completed the full installation of guest editions for Ubuntu in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you're looking for other operating systems to install in VirtualBox, check out our channel. You can subscribe to it. We have many different flavors of operating systems that are going in there for Mac OS, Windows, Linux, and many, many more. Again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.